Data tab can help you to quickly remove duplicate values from a cell range. This worksheet contains multiple records for each salesperson. Now, if you want a simple list of salespersons, how will you get it? If you copy the data from the column containing the names, you will get a lot of duplicate entries. To remove the duplicates, keeping the copied data selected, click Remove Duplicates. Click OK in the displayed window. A pop-up is displayed informing you about the number of duplicates removed. Click OK. Then click outside the selection. You now have a list of all salespersons without any duplicates. Data Validation The data validation icon is used to control the type of data that users enter into a cell. For example, you may want to restrict data entry to a certain range of dates, limit choices by using a list, or make sure that only positive numbers are entered. The displayed worksheet contains a list of employees with details of their departments and monthly salaries. Let's set up a validation rule that the department code should be not more than three characters long. Select the column containing the department code by clicking the column heading B. Now on the data tab, in the data tools group, click data validation. The settings tab of the data validation window is displayed. In the allow box, select text length and in the data box, select less than or equal to. In the maximum box, enter 3 and click OK. Now, in the worksheet, enter the name of a new employee at the bottom of the list and enter the department code having more than three characters. Press tab to go to the next cell. Excel will not allow this and displays an error message. Click cancel and enter a valid value. This time, pressing tab allows you to move to the next cell since the validation rule of three characters is satisfied. To make data entry easier or to restrict entries to a range of values, you can create a drop-down list of valid entries that is compiled from other cells in the workbook. Select the column containing the department 